a very very good monday morning to you you are watching y254 and this is why in the morning and as you know it is monday and it's about that time we delve into youth and politics karibu sana from wherever you're watching us this is the segment where we talk about governance and leadership so if you do have any comments questions or contributions today we'll be handling public participation how involved are you when it comes to the decision making processes of your county because this was also devolved so make sure you do participate at y254 channel on twitter the hashtag is why in the morning hashtag youth and politics if you like to be specific on instagram at y254 underscore channel on uh, facebook we're at y254 and on youtube in case you miss any of the valuable insight here we're at y254 channel on dstv channel 376 star times 54 signet 824 so it's about time i introduce the guests that i have with me in studio but because we are so many i want everybody to be able to be heard today and be able to say their name you know where they're watching us and where they've come from yeah so yes wanna see you please say good morning to the people good morning to viewers my name is uh, uh, eric mangese the ceo of global student integrity center thank you oh my name is matoke patrick osebe elias ambassador from the mira county as mm -hmm. yeah the founder of combustion Network out of Numanti, kenya mm -hmm. also the youth governor in the mira county mm -hmm. Yes, he's my CEO. I'm the ambassador, mm -hmm. Global Student Integrity Center. All right, great. And I'm Hilda Wadidi, just in case I forgot to mention. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Very yeah, good to you all, to the viewers. My name is Benjamin Kui. Do you have the microphone? Very <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, good to you all, to all the viewers. My name is Benjamin Kui. Mm -hmm. Good morning. My name is Michael Andrew. Good morning to all of you and keep your going. Hey, good morning to all of you. Uh, my name is Kesab I'm from African Azarin University. I'm uh, glad you are a student. Morning all. I'm Dominic Kondiri Nyabuta from African Azarin University. Thank you. Good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm Jane Mugambi. I'm a student at African Academy University. Good morning, everybody. My name is Abuda Bradley Sankara Kayesu. I'm not a new face here. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. I'm Owino Bradley Chin from African Academy University, student of commerce. All right, Asante Nisana, it's about time we have a conversation and you can also participate. Cindy, you know, the arti now Article 232D and Article 196 of our constitution gives us the allowance as citizens to participate when it comes to some of the decision-making processes that are being done and it was recently devolved. However, people have been complaining that uh, the public participation tends to be done undercover and nobody really knows when it's, what's really happening. So since it has been rigged by so much corruption, I would like to hear from you how important is this for us for people to participate is it easy for you to get the information to participate and what are some of the challenges that you have experienced can i start with you buana ceo uh, thank you very much mm -hmm. uh, i was not very much involved in politics mm -hmm. but <laughs> there are the natural issues and the That's concerns cool. that come on day to day yes. uh, we shall have to share mm -hmm. what you're able to mm -hmm. now with regard to the question that you have uh, mm -hmm. uh, asked concerning mm -hmm. the public participation mm -hmm. uh, of course it is there as you have read in the constitution yes. outlined of what is required mm -hmm. of uh, uh, the county government when mm -hmm. they form their policies and even the national government when they form their policies mm -hmm. but then they do is that as a, as a PR mm -hmm. they don't take it seriously mm -hmm. and if any case they get the views from the participant or those people from the concerned areas mm -hmm. where they want to do the policies and the legislation mm -hmm. they do it because the constitution requires but they don't do it because they would do exactly want to implement mm -hmm. the views that they get from uh, the audience or whatever they do it. I remember one of the counties I don't want to mention here, <laughs> uh, where they were stopped after they were doing their budgets mm -hmm. and the policy. Mm -hmm. They were stopped that they had not gone through public participation. Mm -hmm. So they had to go back to it. Mm -hmm. So it tells you that they went for it because there was a challenge on what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it was not in their interest to continue and get views from other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So I think. It is something that is quite uh, critical that we uh, need to look at and see does it add value even those people who thought of having it in the constitution mm -hmm. does it add value in terms of what intends to achieve yes uh, about public participation mm -hmm. in our counties it has challenges mm -hmm. that's the truth 
one, I thought that the evolution could, could take resources to the people, mm -hmm. could take leadership to the people. Mm -hmm. But as it is by now, it has created avenues for rooting. Rooting, I mean. Mm -hmm. People are there to root, they are there to take funds, mm -hmm. but not to give back to the site mm -hmm. as the evolution mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. Public participation, as I can say, it is not fully uh, mandated to the people. Mm -hmm. At least it is supposed to, to mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. One, how can you participate on what you don't know? Mm -hmm. Civic education, mm -hmm. they don't even teach people what mm -hmm. they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. How can you participate in what you have been not oriented? Mm -hmm. Because you must be oriented. That's why when I was a first year, I was oriented, this is university, this is where you go, this mm -hmm. is what you do. Mm -hmm. But people participate on what they don't know. Mm -hmm. Communication, today mm -hmm. communicate to the people. Mm -hmm. They just come in two weeks or two days, tomorrow we have public participation. Particularly, I always speak in Yamira, where I come from. I'm the youth governor. I was I just to about to ask you about yes. your county. Uh -huh. The other day they communicated. Uh -huh. Just three days to the event, uh -huh. we'll have the public participation at different wards. And I was in Calf. Three days do these people know about public participation, uh -huh. what is required. Uh -huh. How can you take public participation to the people? They don't know the budget. Uh -huh. They don't know the, the amount of money the government has given uh -huh. to, the, to the county. Uh -huh. They don't know they are around to talk there. Mm -hmm. So it was a matter of taking money to the people. I saw them giving people 500. I was like, oh, you participate in, in making policies so that you are given something and that's it done. So you're, you've, you've mentioned bribery. Yes. That's what I'm hearing. Let me hear from, from you guys. What do you guys have to say when it comes to public participation? Do you, do you agree with Patrick here that there's no information? Okay, thank you, Hilda. Mm -hmm. uh, Public participation, especially in Kenya, mm -hmm. is a uh, charade. It's something done because of it. It's mm -hmm. a formality. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are people who, who really do it. Mm -hmm. Let me start with those who don't do it. There are mm -hmm. those who do it because it is in the constitution that mm -hmm. it should be done. Mm -hmm. So it's going there mm -hmm. to meet people, mm -hmm. and then you are given a chai, mm -hmm. and then the people pretend that everything has happened, mm -hmm. yet nothing has happened. You're just there to rubber stamp it and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, there's a writer called Paulo Fiere. He's mm -hmm. written a book called Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Okay. So this, this Pedagogy of, of the Oppressed says that those who are oppressed, those who are, are just there to show the public so that they appear in TV and, and newspapers that something is being done. Yet nothing in real sense is being done. I'm happy with Makueni. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a public lecture on Friday mm -hmm. at the University of Nairobi, Masters and PhD students, mm -hmm. about how they do public participation. Mm -hmm. Those guys have even Minister of Public Participation. Wow. Special Minister for Public Participation. So there are some counties that are doing they well. They started from village level. Mm -hmm. they, have, they have presidents from village level up to county level. Mm -hmm. So that these people, the village people, identify the problems they have. They mm -hmm. pass it to the ward level, to sub ward level. They have even divide, subdivided to sub ward to some what level, to what level, at least goes up to county level, so that what is going to be reflef reflected in the county budget mm -hmm. is what the people have said from the grassroots, from mm -hmm. village level. Mm -hmm. So there are people who do it, but majority, uh, it's just a rubber stamp, it's a total charade. Okay. Yeah. Hilda, I uh, do want to submit to you that uh, there's a challenge that is actually taking us back in our nation. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm left wondering and questioned in my mind that where are we heading to? Because things are things happen by the curtains. Mm -hmm. Just like the incident that uh, you stopped from referring to Yamira co County. Mm -hmm. When you give a short notice, you don't inform. You see, when you give a short notice, it's only a few who will be able to get the information by that time. Mm -hmm. But even if, if, even if the majority get the information, they won't make it. Mm -hmm. So public participation is a thing of a sense, but if it is to be implemented in our government, governing systems, then it has to be given some seriousness. Mm -hmm. Because it is here where we are going to involve the individuals who are going to, you see, Put, put some ground mm -hmm. for the development that is desired mm -hmm. yeah so when when you when you don't when you don't involve mm -hmm. and you want to do things behind the scenes behind the curtains then we are actually messing um the 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 the, 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 the another question that comes is that who 
who some like in some counties mm -hmm. uh, I'm, 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 in some counties you realize that public participation is a thing that a subject that no normal citizens are aware of mm -hmm. uh, like um, I'll, I'll talk to my county I'm from Homer Bay County mm -hmm. and Homer Bay County things just happen that you just hear this had happened you just told this had happened and they don't inform the citizens I want to admit that information is very vital giving the information is what we lack when it comes to involving the mm -hmm. public in participating in public in public things Okay, okay, let's hear from somebody else. I want to hear about the other counties as well because uh, Sudan has really showed us that it is possible, you know, if we are passionate and we want to look and we want to look for the information. So please tell me about the access of information. Where do you guys get the information from? Okay, thank you, Hilda. Uh, what I can say, number one, I want to congratulate those people, citizens of Sudan. Mm -hmm. They did something great. Mm -hmm which ought to be uh, a guiding routine mm -hmm. in our African countries for us to evaluate ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you want to talk about uh, public participation, let's focus which is the impact of this public participation. Number one, we have to identify the positive gains that we are going to receive from this public participation and selectively discriminate the negative sides. Mm -hmm. So let me talk about the positive sides. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, public participation, uh, it brings about uh, new awareness, it brings about um, development, it, it makes our leaders to be on toes. So those are the main aims of uh, public participation. But now here comes yeah mm -hmm. accountability. Mm -hmm. But now here comes a case mm -hmm. where public participation mm -hmm. is like now we are taking it to be a, like a, a privilege. Mm -hmm. We don't have to demand. Mm -hmm. We don't have to request for public participation. We ought to demand mm -hmm. because we also need to account for our taxes which we pay. Mm -hmm. So number one. Um, Let's talk about my county, which is Kisi County, mm -hmm. where I'm the governor of the youth. Mm -hmm. What I want to say is um, we are not involved in public participation. Mm -hmm. Participation, when we say about public, we need to have a notice. Mm -hmm. This is going to tell us maybe a month before that we are going to have a, a public forum where we are coming to participate. This is what we're going to tell us and this and this. We, we have to prepare ourselves. And we ought to be told the main reason of this uh, participation. So, uh, when something is done, we are not involved, we are not told, we're just being told uh, some few minutes too, so which is not good. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes uh, these people, what I can say, this is social comedy acting. Social comedy acting. Social comedy <laughs> acting. <laughs> Why do I say so? Because just look at an example. The, here is a leader who is launching maybe a water project. He has launched a water project maybe in your area. In fact, in my area, somebody has come to launch uh, an organization, but you are going to see it on social media. After it has happened, after it has happened, you are seeing some pictures, which I take it to be a peer show. So what I need to say... We need to be involved. We need to be told in advance mm -hmm. about this public participation mm -hmm. for it to be fruitful and for it to be to have that positive impact on us. Otherwise, if we are not keen, mm -hmm. then we are heading nowhere. All right, all right, all right. Please, can please don't talk for too long. We want everybody to have an opportunity to say something. All right. So let's go ahead. Okay. As for me, it's so sad that. Mm -hmm since 2010 when the, the new constitution was promulgated mm -hmm. and now it's like it it years okay roughly it years down the line and mm -hmm. and such such policies such as uh, public participation have not and have not been fully exercised and so okay on the issue you talked about information to be honest we don't know when this when these 
when these okay these forums for public participation are are conducted we d we, we're not aware we don't know the venues we don't know we know nothing so if the county government can at least uh, tell us maybe uh days prior to the to the forums maybe or or let's say they 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 give they they they, elab they give time and they give they elaborate the issues to be discussed mm -hmm. and the other problem is that we the youth or the the public at large mm -hmm. we don't have interest that is something oh. i was just about to ask you guys we have been accused of not being interested that is why we uh. don't seek out this information is it true yeah it's true because uh, who will sit down at a, you go maybe you go to a forum you sit down for for let's say uh, the world day <laughs> discussing discussing some the development something of which you'll get nothing from it okay you see so um if people if we get proper information mm -hmm. if uh information is relayed in time mm -hmm. and uh, the and the people we, let, let's be self-motivated by the way let's be self-motivated let's yeah. express interest yeah, because let's the information is interest. there yeah, yeah, we yeah. just need to look for it uh -huh. okay buona ceo you deal a lot with ethics yeah uh, I would like to understand from you, how do we solve the issue of ethics when it comes to this thing? Because people have been accused of, uh, uh, fine, they call public participation, but then they bring their people so that they can pass whatever it is they need to pass. How do we fight this? Because uh, we, are, we are the next. We are the next. Thank you, Ilda. Um, mm -hmm. Like you mentioned, my, my, my interest particularly is on the student leaders. Mm -hmm. I'm happy today I'm addressing them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, is a co aider if you look at our national politics, uh, all that almost 80 percent, if not 90, mm -hmm. at a given time, mm -hmm. he was a student leader. Mm -hmm. So it means that it's very core to deal with him. Now, ethical leadership becomes a concern. Mm -hmm. Now, we are talking about the issues to deal with the uh, public participation. Mm -hmm. And uh, of the discussion that you can hear here, you get that they do it because the constitution requires it. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about ethics and integrity, it requires you to do the right thing in the absence of any other person else. Mm -hmm. So even if you are at the dark, mm -hmm. you will still do the right thing because it is required of you. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go there because there is no one who is seeing me. I go by there and then uh, do a wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Even if the nun is seeing me and my conscience tells me that this is the right thing to do, then I should do it. But then, uh, just to add on what uh, the, 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 the participants have said, mm -hmm. something on accountability. Mm -hmm. Why? If any case I would come and say that, you see this toilet here, mm -hmm. we want to build a toilet here, and this toilet will cost us two million. Mm -hmm. But now they know that if the public are informed of the amount that is used there, mm -hmm. then they would not be at accountable. Mm -hmm. So what they do is that they deny us from knowing this. Mm -hmm. Any ethical leader should know that it is the right of the subject to know mm -hmm. that this is what required. And we are, um, as a institution, as a global student integrity center, we are looking at uh, uh, servant leadership. We see from these other countries, uh, the Western countries and all that, uh, like the Brexit the other day, when people did not support the idea, the president say that, no, I'm not having the will of people. Mm -hmm. They are really not with me. Mm -hmm. So we must challenge our leaders that their interest must be in a way of service. When I want a position of leadership, do I need it because I want to benefit myself? Mm -hmm. Or I want it because I want to benefit the subjects? And I am there because I've been delegated. Any other person will do it, but in this time, you have been delegated, you have been given the authority, you are acting on behalf of the public. So uh, when you talk about ethics, they are in tandem. It goes with accountability. I would deny you participation because I would not want to be accountable. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much I have spent in buying this form. Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know how much I have spent in buying the form, mm -hmm. uh, you will not ask me, where is the receipt? Because mm -hmm. you didn't know how much. So when we talk about public participation, again, in terms of ethics, uh, and uh, just bringing it together with that, mm -hmm. is you realize uh, the intent of public participation is at the end of the day, any project, any policy that is going to be formed, mm -hmm. is it in line with the interest of those people that are going to benefit from it? That is the major question why we, we intend to have the public participation. participation. If I'm going to build a, a, a school here, is it a thousand kilometers from where a bigger people would come from, a number of people that are going to use this facility. Mm -hmm. And how much is it? Then one year later, mm -hmm. when you come back for another participation, then mm -hmm. we can now ask you, yeah. sure. this thing that you came here and you told us that you were going to use one million, mm -hmm. why have you used two million? 
And is it beneficial? And that's why if you look at the country, there are several projects, even from the national government, there are several projects that the, 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 the white elephants, they are no longer there. Of, 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 of late, we are talking about uh, the, 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 the facilities that were given in the hospitals okay. that are now not being used. Mm -hmm. And you remember the day the, 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 the governors were talking about they were not involved. Mm -hmm. And you look at the consequences. Millions of money have been put into the system. Mm -hmm. Why? Those who want to participate and bring the ideas on what is intended were not there. So I would want to underscore the fact that the public participation is very important. Okay. And to them that are concerned. All right. So guys, do you think there is hope for us in light of the situation and all the corruption that we have seen? Is there hope? Yeah, thank you. First and foremost, I don't think public participation is in existence. Oh, so you don't even believe Why me? am I saying this? You know, one, we are authors of our own misfortunes. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. We, you know, we came up with the constitution, we were consulted, mm -hmm. and again, we are victims mm -hmm. of the creation. Mm -hmm. So you are, you are on victim mode. Can we hear somebody? Please don't say you are victims. You are not victims. Please. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, why I'm saying this mm -hmm. is because, like, I'll use the example of my county. I come from Transeo County mm -hmm. and partly, okay, Transeo County, I can say that. And I'm a leader of Transeo Students Association. I'm the president. Mm -hmm. And I can say this. Youths are never consulted. I can give an example of this. For example, in my county, you get that previously, Around 100 million shillings were given out to the youth or with regard to bursaries and all that. Mm -hmm. But the issue is this. When you walk in the county and inquire, try to find out who among these youths got the funds, you will find that there is none. So this is what I want to say. All we need to do is to get involved in, in uh, these county activities of which the county government is trying to ignore us. Not but you, so you, you're basically saying we express interest? We need to express interest. Okay. That's, what, that's my point. All right. Thank Can you. we hear from the lady? I'll support Benjamin on that. Mm -hmm. I'm also from Transoya. Mm -hmm. Oh, Transoya is notorious. People, <laughs> people, are, people are victims there anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know the funny thing? Mm -hmm. When you say you come from Transoya, mm -hmm. they only think about me. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So public participation to us just a name. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in that. So I don't think public participation is there at all at all. So what are you doing about it? Mm -hmm. For us, we are formed a student association mm -hmm. of the deputy president. Mm -hmm. We need to give our concerns to the government mm -hmm. and I hope it will be heard this time. Mm -hmm. We will be heard. You are new to politics today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, according to me, mm -hmm. public participation is, uh, is not in existence. From which county? I'm from the county of Bomet. And Bomet County, Kuala Bomo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and because we elected a woman governor, mm -hmm. everything is in a mess. No. By Okay, so you have a accused, so you must have some shit. I'm not saying women governors are bad, but our own governor is bad. I'm going to let me speak about the public participation. Public participation, sometimes we are like that there is public participation, but in the real sense, it's non existent. Because for one, uh, they do this thing in a tactical manner. Uh, number one, it's about time. Time in which they inform the citizens that we have public participation. Mm -hmm. The MCA comes like today and uses uh, WhatsApp groups and Facebook to inform you that tomorrow morning we shall have public participation. WhatsApp groups? <laughs> yes, yeah. about the mother. That is where you find now MCA is becoming uh, social media bloggers. And <laughs> <laughs> so, another thing, uh, it's about the way they do this public participation. The MCA and maybe the governor herself mm -hmm. comes to where people uh, are gathered for participation with her supporters mm -hmm. so that these people are going to amend what she says directly without uh, any question. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing also, uh, for example, in the recent months, mm -hmm. there is a project that the governor was uh, introducing that's creating shades for Boda Boda. This was not bad, but now the problem is 
when she was informing the citizens of Bormet that we are going to create sheds for border border, she never said the amount of money she's going to use for those sheds. I love that. Yeah. Because uh, I have had a rumor that she used 598,000 for one shed, which cost less than 30,000. <laughs> so you see, that's, that becomes a problem. So Bormet County, you have been put on the spot today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, uh, Maybe to add on what you say that people are not interested on mm -hmm. this, I beg to differ. Mm -hmm. The people people are interested. Mm -hmm. The only problem is the leaders themselves uh, they tend to put the people aside because if people are not interested during the time of campaigns, we will not get these people, these um, big crowds of people going to where the leaders are coming to campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think the people are interested, but the problem is the leaders themselves, uh, they, they put the people sketchy. aside. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Ray, can we please hear from, yeah. from another county as well? We'd I'd like to hear. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, um, I want to give uh, my opinion, but it's divergent as in from the fellow colleagues. Mm -hmm. But I will concur with my fellow colleague, uh, Joy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the youth... Uh, in a slumber, like what John F. Kennedy said in 1960, that a society whose youth are in a slumber uh, cannot realize its, its or her potential. Uh, I think this monster of public participation, it happens, but the real thing is ambiguous, or in a sense that it is uh, unclear in a way that it is being done, yes, but actually the way they do it is that they go back to their society and get their people who are really interested, but these people, are, they might be uh, in some way, uh, they might be influenced by political, uh, political ideologies. I can say that uh, like, there is political influence in this thing. We cannot talk only of a county, uh, but, but this public participation for a county, but also for national government. Mm -hmm. uh, for this public participation for the national government, uh, we know that there are these two monsters of political parties. The, okay, we can call it NASA and Jubilee. Okay, before we it's go into now. the politics of, of, of the parties, I'd yeah. like to, you said that the, that the youth are in some kind of slumber. Yeah. <laughs> so sure. what can we do to wake up? That's what I'd like to hear, because we need to conclude this. Okay, thing. because uh, we come here like we are expressing the youth. I think youth uh, should wake up from their slumberland. That's what I can say. Like, get, be interested in this political, uh, uh, political, like, spheres mm -hmm. and economics. Like, you find a lot of youth, like in Nakuru, mm -hmm. we are out, we are not actually participating, like we are not that residents of that place. You might find like some of us who are in school, some of us are like, they are gone to work because we know the youth, 55% of the labor are the youth who are All right. like, yeah, so they might be uh, working or outside the county. Mm -hmm. So for national government, I think uh, for public participation to be legit, uh, the judiciary should be like incorporated inside this, <laughs> so that oh. uh, we, we, so we, that uh, okay. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Like the, the judiciary should be uh, incorporated so that when a public persuasion is done, it's being taken to court if someone challenges it. So that the court will see if it was clear, then let it go mm -hmm. and the same implemented. But if so, it's not clear, let the court like declare it. Null and void, and uh, let them go back to the okay. same public Asante sana. Nakuru County, you are in slumber, okay? All right, let's go. Let me let me hear from uh, Kayesu at the back over there. We need to wind this up. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, I'm from Machakos County. Machakos. And, uh, mm -hmm. In my county, I don't think that public participation will, will uh, ever happen, because since I grew I've grown from that county actually, and I've never been participated. Because if I w um, if I 
I want to get interest in public participation, the government aids should reach me first, and also and, and I should see the needy ones benefiting from it. But if I don't see that, I, I, I will not even get interested. I won't even um, have have the interest to to check out what is going on in my county, because even it is it will be just like useless. Uh, wasting my time in, in such things, because you find most of the youth now are, uh, are like 90% are on social media, just doing uh, funny, funny things, just <laughs> keeping themselves busy, actually. They're not even uh, ready to, even to, to watch news, to know what is even happening about the country, even anything. Hopelessness. I'm hearing a lot of hopelessness. Mm -hmm. also. Yeah. Wow. OK, if can I'm we please end it on an encouraging I interested. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thank you. Uh, Hitler, I was reading about about uh, mm -hmm. Hitler, mm -hmm. why he killed so many people. Mm -hmm. You know, he killed uh, around six million Jews, mm -hmm. and uh, around and around ten thousand, mm -hmm. around ten thousand Europeans. Mm -hmm. So I I, I I I read that he was uh, after the sec he, he came to power after the, after the First World War. So when the when when he came to power, they they, they were they were fined that the, the whole Germany were fined. They were accused of starting World War. So they were all accused. They were all fined that they will pay all the countries the damages that the First World War done. So there were people who were. The Jews were the people who owned banks, so they were very poor mm -hmm. because of this. So because of this, uh, this guy was killing cartels. Mm -hmm. Every cartel that was around, that was standing between him and progress, he would kill. So it, it was revolutionary. I'm not advising us to kill as the youth, but we should find a way like Hitler. <laughs> no, a, we should find a way to develop our hope. own cartels. A, a, a better way, but mm -hmm. we should find a way of doing away with cartels. In fact, mm -hmm. after that, Hitler became, German became the richest country in the, wow. in the world. After okay. that, after clearing the cartels. So you youths should find a way of clearing cartels, and then public participation will just occur, and then we'll just benefit. Because we are not, we are poor because there's no public participation, and the people standing between us and public participation are cartels. Let's clear them. All right. There is okay. hope. There is hope. There is yes. hope indeed, yes? Yes. Uh -huh. so One. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Allow me to submit to our government that we don't need blackmail banners in our constitution. Okay, okay, all right. This is, guys. This is, this is very we clear that there are things in, that are displayed in our constitution, but we never, they are never done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this thing, the subject at hand today is very stipulated in the, is very well stipulated in the constitution, but it's never practiced. So I'm submitting to the government that you don't need blackmail banners in our constitution okay yes. all right all right you guys i'm so sorry it is time for us to conclude this segment you know machakos county and thank you so much for telling the youth on social media being doing funny things instead of thinking about what's happening mm -hmm. okay as i thank you sana for watching you've been watching youth and politics my name is hilda walidi we do this every monday we make sure that you participate all the counties that have been called out Woo, please can we see some changes okay Anyway, thank you guys so much for making time for, to be here. I know it's raining and it has been a journey. <laughs> Asante Nisana. Please do not go anywhere you're watching Why in the Morning.